Alrighty, hello there. Welcome back. Alright, this is... This is going to be a long one. <laughs> this is going to be many different... Uh, this is going to span a few different videos. Um, basically, in this video, I'm going to try to explain, and I'm going to walk through the process of um, the Arcane Transmuter. Okay. There are a couple other things about items, little things that I haven't touched on yet that I'm going to I'm going to kind of go over now. Uh one of them uh are rune sockets. Okay? Like this pair of trousers I have right here, uh rough cloth pants. Um it has below the worth, it has the rune and it's a 0 out of 1. That means I could put a rune into it. Um now, how this kind of ties into the tier of the item, like tier one, the higher the quality of the item, like the level that you find it at, uh, generally you find higher tiers. How that ties in is that the uh, socket cannot have a, a rune that's a tier higher than the tier of the item. So if I wanted to put in a tier uh, nine or ten uh ruin into this I could not it wouldn't work because it's too low a tier however you can tier up items and I'm um, that's part of what we're gonna do here when you tier up an item the uh, level and the uh, <clears throat> the equipment and uh, the equip requirements uh, the prerequisites to uh, equip it they don't change so if this was if I tiered this up to like tier 7 I could. It wouldn't be an issue. I could put it and trade it to level one, and they can run around in tier seven uh, cloth, uh, rough cloth pants. Okay, now I've already scoured the auction house uh, for some stuff, all right, but I found another item, uh, which is this belt here. I've been grinding uh, to try to find uh, belts and capes that are high durability over durability. Uh, but I have here the belt. I would do this on the belt, but it's not clean because it has a stat on it. And why that's important versus this, which is clean, there has no stats. It has, it just has the rune socket, but that doesn't count as a stat. Um, the reason is, is because using the arcane transmitter, you could put stats from one item onto another item. However, the amount of stats. Uh, on an item are generally just the six lowest stats. Okay, so I could put six stats on here, but you'll see in a minute how this will trip me up because it's a, it already has a stat on there. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to put three, um, we're going to put three uh, stats on this cloth pants. Okay, let me open up the arcane transmitter. Got some other stuff here I found. I put I use my arcane transmuter for space. The first thing you're gonna need <clears throat> are charges. To do uh, three, it's gonna take to to do three just from scratch. Uh, three uh, three uh, uh, like tearing up or adding stats is gonna take four charges. Now I know this is kind of all arcane right now, but it's gonna make sense. Or I'm hoping I'm, I'm gonna be able to explain it. The first thing you're going to need to do are get fusion stones. Fusion stones you can buy from the vendor uh, in Veranus. Uh, they have a couple different um, uh, like uh, prices for fusion stones. They have ones that are uh, twelve thousand, ones that are five or six thousand, and ones that are like two thousand. And what a fusion stone is is if you see in the blue text here, it says a fusion stone with stamina one and two random attributes. Okay. The reason why um, the higher level or the the more expensive fusion stones cost more is because they have only they have two, they come with two set attributes and one random attribute. Okay. Now, for example, <clears throat> remember how I said earlier there were only going to be six modifiers, right? It's going to take the six lowest. So, say if this was stamina one, earth one, whiff one. And this one right here, it's the same, but just pretend with me that it's Dexterity 1, Intelligence 1, and uh, uh, Strength 1, okay? 
those are six stats and they're all low so those six stats are gonna go on to the item but I want to put these stats on the item I want to put 30 dexterity 19 stamina and 30 strength on this item but if I use all different stones it's gonna take the crappy stats first and these stats are gonna just dis disappear they're not even gonna be considered on the item okay that's why on the dirty item it wouldn't be good because say if I have these three stones right here right these three stats stamina one earth one with one they're gonna be on this okay or, or this or whatever I put it on in addition to these three so I would have stamina one earth one with one epidemic nine physique seven and power nine okay but if I put it on here this is might one that's gonna be seven stats so one of these here is not gonna make it onto the item okay now if the stat is the same it's gonna overlap so these right here these all they don't go stamina one stamina one stamina one earth one earth one earth one with one with one with one it just overlaps if you put the same stat on okay so that's how that works. Now what we got to do is we got to take the fusion stone and put it with an item where we want to combine. Okay, and that takes one charge. So let's just put it in here. It's going to show you a preview. So we're going to take this fusion stone and we're going to put 30 dexterity and make a mana stone. Okay, now it's important to know when you put the item in that you're going to take the uh, stats off the mana stone becomes the same tier as the item if you notice the fusion stones don't have tiers they're just blank the tier comes from the item so if I put a tier 2 item in here it would give me a tier 2 mana stone now to make an item to move all these stats onto this item right we need three mana stones and they all have to be of the same tier so that's why it's important to get to not trip yourself up and get the same tier item okay so as you can see these three items are all tier three so here we go we got a tier three helmet fusion stone it's gonna give us a mana stone taking the stats off the fusion stone and the one stat off the the item and it's gonna give us stamina one earth one with one epidemic nine so we're gonna confirm and we now have a mana stone tier three okay we're gonna do it again this one with the strength you want to check your preview right to make sure it's getting the same thing uh, this is not a good thing to do while drunk alright cuz it could get costly so here we go we're gonna do it again we're gonna get our second mana stone combining the fusion stone and the belt with 30 strength now it takes one charge each shot here all right now the last one here the gloves mana stone tier 3 with 19 stamina okay so that's three charges right there just to make the three mana stones that we need okay now